Massacre Association, in abbreviation we call it Madifa, was started in 2009. And uh, we only started with around five members, four male and one female. But the number's now grown to over 300. So one of the reasons why I started up this organization was like there was little nothing that was being talked about to address the issues to do with HIV and disability and more so with TB as well. After testing five of the members who have disability and they turned out to be positive, so we started from there because we had questions like how do you access drugs, how do the health workers talk to you, how do you feel about yourself when you have HIV and you have a disability. So these are the issues that were coming out and then we felt like people who have answers are people who are HIV positive and they also have a disability. So we formed up this association. It's a membership association and the main target are people with disability who are HIV positive. We are in four areas, so we address the issue of disability HIV, TB and gender-based violence. We address the issue of livelihood. We address the issue of policy advocacy so that the policymakers could really understand what we go through. And then we also document our best practices on how we are doing it. TB causes disability, but at the same time, because many people and some of them have turned to be blind and others are losing their hearing because of the drugs. But again also, we have people who are HIV positive and they also have TB. And as you are aware, you can imagine somebody taking drugs for ARVs, taking the drugs for ep epilepsy, taking the same drugs for TB. You can imagine that. And no intervention that is being done to reach out to them. And nobody is having answers to what intervention should be done to people who have disability and they have TB. We need to widen up, but we need partners. We need people that we can work together to do the testing, to do the stigma awareness, to look at the actual build up in terms of treatment, in terms of follow up, in terms of intervention and the aftermath. I got polio when I was two years, so I've lived with polio uh, throughout my life. And I have a master's degree in public advocacy and activism. I also have a postgraduate diploma in disability. So not because I have a disability, it means that I know issues of disability. So I've been able to live it, but also to study it and then appreciate it. So in 2009, we partnered with one of the local organizations called TASO to go to the community and do house-to-house -house voluntary counseling and testing to these people with disability. So out of 50 that we reached, five of them were HIV positive. That's where my passion started. So for me, I was like, okay, let's inform people that HIV still exists. And regardless whether you have a disability or not, you need to know this. So that's how we went out. But when I saw that five of these members had HIV, I said something needs to be done. And that's how I started up this organization out of the five members. In 2013, one of my first member is called Dick, tested positive with a TB. And then at the start, we didn't have much knowledge about TB and we weren't really addressing it because we are more concerned with HIV and uh, issues to do with medication and nutrition and um, outreaches to the families. So when Dick tested, uh, we went to Masaka Regional Referral Hospital and said, we have a case of TB. So that's when we started and now we have 10 members who are HIV and they have TB at the same time. And uh, one of the challenges that uh, Dick found was like he was losing the memory and then he was also whenever he could take these drugs could strain him. And actually he needed to eat a lot because he was taking ARVs at the same time the a TB drug. So they used to really train him and uh, he was really so weak. So we went on up to Kampala and then to talk to them and say, what can we do? Because it's like the drugs are really too powerful for his body to contain. We are happy that he eventually uh, he recovered from TB. But uh, we have now, out of 10, we still have five who are still uh, TB, with TB, but their own treatment. So, but we feel like many out there and we haven't reached them. 
and uh, we need to spread out and then to know that TB is really an issue among the disability community. And so my last appeal is uh, we're encouraging everyone, researchers, doctors, funders, everyone to really come up and address the issue of disability and TB. If you're addressing it to children, you're addressing it to women, you're addressing it to other categories, uh, why not the disability community? I think uh, we need to be positive about it that these are people also who need the best quality. Thank you very much.